Do you want a chance to win a Tapu Lele GX? Me too, because I love this card. All you have to do is go in the description, subscribe, and click the link for the Gleam.io and enter the giveaway. You get more entries if you subscribe to my main channel and also follow my Twitter. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Pokemon DCGO video. Today we are using a deck I'm not a fan of. I actually hate this deck. And it's one of my favorite Pokemon. It's up there. It's I think just hit you. I, I vary from favorite Pokemon to favorite Pokemon. Number one will always be Charizard. Number two, like, swaps between, like, Slowbro, Slowpoke, Decidueye, Dart Tricks, Rowlet. <laughs> I go I go all over the place. But this, this features the Decidueye line, but it also features one of my least favorite cards, Vileplume. This deck used to run rampant in standard. It was annoying. Um, back before Guardians Rising, this was the deck to play. There was tournaments where this was, like, 33% of the top 32 and stuff like that. This was the Garboder before Garboder came out. And this is uh, John Kettler's deck from Internationals, where he placed, I believe, second? Um, yeah, he did play second. I don't think I've used this yet. This was actually the deck that crashed my computer and had to get me to fix it. So, yeah, that's why that was never uploaded. I think this is my first time ever doing it. Okay, things. I need to fix something. Hold on. This needs to be fixed. You go away. You go there. Anything else that needs to be fixed really quick? No, it doesn't look like it. It's a very straightforward deck. You want to get Decidueyes set up as soon as possible and Vileplume out first or second turn. That is your goal. What Vileplume does, if you guys don't know, um, Decidueye Plume, Vileplume turns off the ability for both players to use item cards. So... That's your goal for this deck. Shut off the opponent's items cards. And you want to get a float stone on Vileplume before um, you set up Vileplume. If you can, you don't have to. But it may come back in the future to bite you in the butt. Um, luckily, I do have things like a Olympia in here. So I, can't, I, I think I have something else too. I don't know. I have float stones. I have Olympia. That might actually be it. Um, but we run grass and double colorless. I think we run a 4 4 line of. Or 4 4. Um, Grass and DCE. We start off Rowlet Lugia. This is actually a pretty good start. I'm going to lead off with Lugia. I don't know if that's the smartest play. I haven't... Like, I, I, I'm not good with this deck. I will be honest. I've never been good with it. Before Guardians Rising, I used to run uh, Decidueye. Ooh, Decidueye. Um, what's his name? Decidueye uh, Tauros. I couldn't think of that for a second. I think I am going to straight up grab a Oddish. I want to turn off item cards this turn. It might be a Passimian deck we're playing against. And if I could turn off item cards, I think I just basically win. We're going to grab Ultra Ball, get rid of U2, and we're going to grab a Shaman. And we're going to keep recycling here. We need to hit a Forest of Giant Plants, and we need to hit some, like, glue. Well, I... first, let's focus on getting the Forest of Giant Plants. No. That sucks. Trainer's Mail. That still sucks. What do I want to do here? Would I want to end? No, I think at this point I want to Sycamore. I could use Tapu Lele, but I'm not going to. I'm going to attach to you. It's. I'm risking it. I want to hit the... I really want to hit the uh, Forest of Giant Plants this turn. And I didn't. Of course not. Okay. That was not the best turn. We didn't even hit any energies through that. But we do have stuff for next turn. We'll be able to get Dartrix out. Hopefully... Okay, stop eat, Stop digging. No digging. Hopefully, we'll be able to... He's going to be able to get Passimians out. It's a Passimian deck. God dang it. Um, I don't know if this matchup... If the, we would... We would basically have one if we got the Vileplume out that turn. Link, stop it. What did you say? No digging. Don't you wag your tail at me. I see you, little guy. He's being all cheeky back there. He got rid of three Ultra Balls. Wow. Well, two Ultra Balls, and that's his third one. He's got everything he... <laughs> if I would have turned off his freaking item cards, that would have been so good. Uh, next turn, I'm probably going to just... Hopefully, I hit a Gloom. Hopefully, I hit... A... Yeah, hopefully, I hit a Gloom or a Forest of Giant Plants immediately. Ah, oh, god dang it. I need to hit Energies, too. If I hit one energy, I'm able to knock out this Mew with a, uh, if I hit one DCE, I'm able to knock out this Mew. Link, stop it. Stop it. No digging. He's not listening to me right now, and I don't appreciate it. I hear him in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. That's his digging spot. Okay, he went away now. You learn your lesson? 
Yeah, no digging. Um, so he's going to team play here. And that's going to do 70. So I'm not too worried about that. He didn't get Skyfield set up. Which normally has Simeon decks actually run one, um, one Skyfield and one Brooklet Hill. Preferably you want to get Brooklet Hill out in the first or second turn. And then later on as the, you need to start placing on top of Lele's and more Muse. Um, you want to get Skyfield out. And you can also get rid of your own Skyfield to get rid of a Lele later on but he's taking his time i wonder what he's thinking about right now he's already used his supporter he's used a ton of items if he's got more items he's got to use it now because if i he sees the oddish that he didn't attack i think he went afk <laughs> i take that i take that any day of the week we're just gonna have to end here and we gotta force the giant plants that's not bad that's not bad okay I can force the giant plants here. Uh, I ultra ball you two away. And I grab a shaman. Oh, please. Please. All I need is an ultra ball or a vile plume. Or I need an energy too. Give me energies. Thank you. Wow, that was easy. Asking you shall receive. Give me that. Um, I don't think I'm going to need that revitalizer anytime soon. And it sucks to get rid of that grass energy, but I want to hold on to the Tapu Lele in case I need it in the future. But we got the Vile Plume up. That's the important thing. And we're going to be able to Arrow Ball. Take out that Mew, which getting rid of one of his DCEs is very good. Because now he's got no way of getting that back because Special Charge I, I just turned off, basically. I think he went AFK. I think he was like, oh, I got to go check what's on the oven right now. He's, he's just not doing anything. Okay. Oh, he's here. He's here. He must have just got back. God dang, that took him long enough. All right, well, he got another pass to me and set up. Or maybe the, the robots are doing this. I don't know. But he finally placed one down. Took him long enough. Um, the Mew came up. The Mew came up, but that was in his fir first spot, which whenever someone's AFK and doesn't make a move, the first Pokemon comes up. So I was like, okay, he's still not here. So I was waiting for, like, a forfeit or just wait for the time to end, but he's not doing anything. Like, he... This guy, Fidesvaza is his name. It's going super slow, and I hate this. I hate how there's, like, no penalties for just, like, going slow or going AFK. It, it, it just drags on. Thank you. God, he made one turn. Okay, we attach to you, and we arrow ball, not deep hurricane. Both of them knock him out, but I don't want to get rid of that stadium because I don't want to give him the stadium advantage. There we go. We hit another one, too. I would love to be able to hit a, uh, uh, d a decidui. But I don't know if that's ever going to happen. And he's taking his sweet time again. Ah, that's my angry noise. Because he's taking so long. I actually stopped recording because I felt like it was going to take so much longer. Uh, he forfeited or he got kicked out. One or the other. I don't know how it works when you go AFK. But we were, it looks like we were going to win that regardless. Because Passimian can't function without item cards. Passimian relies on item cards. The, like, heaviest item card reliance I think I've seen in a, a deck in a very long time. Alright, there we go. We're getting up towards those 50 coins. But let's hop into another game. Hopefully we could just jump right into one so I don't have to make a cut. But we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, we were able to jump into one. I was going to sit here awkwardly. It looks like we're playing Greninja against Susan. Susan Leahy. Leahy. God dang it. I think it's my second one that I lost. But Simeon let me go first, I'm pretty sure. I want to go first. If I'm able to shut off item cards against... That's not bad. Okay. Okay, that's not a bad start, at least. We hit a level ball, which we'll be able to get out an Oddish. We hit a uh, Ultra Ball, which I'll be able to get rid of two things and grab a Shaman. And we hit some energies. Last game, I was struggling to hit the energies. This game, I have no issues hitting the energies. Although, he's probably going to end me first turn, and I... Or, she's going to end me first turn. And I'm going to lose all that stuff, aren't I? Okay, she didn't start off with Talonflame. That's really good. That's really good. Um, most of the time, the way that I have to counter Decidueye stuff, told ya, um, is mainly by Talonflame and Talonflame Break. So a lot of times I do kind of rely on that and being able to speed it up because Decidueye has massive problems trying to one-shot Talonflame or Talonflame Break. And Talonflame Break hits for weakness as well. So doing AD is big and being able to grab whatever cards you need is also very, very nice. Um... I want to draw into a forest of giant plants here, so I'm able to get a Dartrix off of one more card with the Shaman, and then I'm probably going to have to end. But I want to go through as many cards as I possibly can before this turn ends. 
Do I have any way of knocking him out this turn? Only way I can knock out this Froki. Oh, that sucks. Is by getting three Decidueye set up. I'm pretty sure. Or a Decidueye and a... Let's do Sycamore. I want the Sycamore so I could revitalize those two and draw into something even better this turn. So we can force the giant plants. We can level ball. Alright, Link. <laughs> we can grab Dartrix. How many Decidueye is a prize? Just one. Uh, one Vileplume is not prized. That Vileplume is in my... Okay, looks like we're fine. I could go through and check out what the rest is prized, but it's, it's, it's whatever. <laughs> I don't have the patience to do that right now. Um, we're not going to shut off abilities immediately. Actually, Lugia's not going to be that good in this matchup. Yeah, it's not. Lugia doesn't hit for weakness, and Greninja may have one energy on him at all times, and you're not one-shotting him with Deep Hurricane as a break. So I don't think that's worth it. Oh, please. Please draw into a level ball or ultra ball. Will the math work? It will. Oh my god. I'm going to be struggling here for a turn or two to get set up. But we are hitting exactly... That was like the thing I needed. We have no more cards in our hand after this. But I think this will be worth it. Actually, I don't know if it's worth it, but we're still going with it. I have no cards. We're going to be sitting here picking them off slowly, I guess. Oh my god. Okay. And I can't do anything yet. Yeah, done. He's gonna rely. So if he shadows, the the nice thing about if he shadow stitching, shadow stitching's me, he shuts off this ability as well as feather arrow. So losing feather arrow sucks, but lose uh, having the ability. Oh god, dang it! Why? Why did you not grab the vile plume? Why did you grab the shaman? Oh my god, that top draw, that top deck. Oh glorious. Okay, um... <laughs> that, that could not have gone much better. That could not have gone much better. Oh my god, okay, we got an end, that's nice. Um, we're bringing back up Decidueye. It looks like he's gonna be able to get a Greninja out this turn. Luckily he's not gonna be able to Dive Ball, so he's gonna, or like Dive Ball, Evasota, any of those kind of things. He's going to have to rely on, um, is he going to bubble? Is he going to Greninja break? No, he's going to just Greninja. Okay, that's not a bad play. He's not going to bubble. I need a grass energy though. Um... I'm just going to slowly pick him off, I guess. And I think I'm going to end here hoping to hit hoping to hit a grass energy. And I did not. <laughs> but that wasn't actually that bad. So next turn we'll be able to sycamore and get rid of that stuff. And we did hit a Dartrix. So that's not the end of the world. I can only retreat and I don't want to place down another Oddish. That would suck. If he decides to ever shadow stitching me, I can then place this Bloatstone onto Vileplume. Oh, that's annoying. He hasn't used it yet. Maybe he'll forget about it. <laughs> That's the way I'm going to look at it. I think he's going to try bubbling me here. Did he have two fishermen? Why? I don't think two fishermen is necessary. Has he gotten rid of any VS Seekers yet? No. So he's stuck with VS Seekers in his deck still. Bubble. Tails. Nice. Okay. Give me... That's fine. Discarding an Ultra Ball is nice. So we get it out of our deck. Um, we hit another Dartrix. And there we go. I need to hit... Uh, whatchamacallit, though. I need to hit a Decidueye. Feather Arrow. On you. Because why not? There's no reason to place it on anything else. And Razor Leaf for Knockout. And now he's got no way of bubbling me, so I should be able to just run away with this. Give me a Decidueye. Oh, I thought that was the secret rare Decidueye. That's the secret rare Tapu Lele. That's not bad either, though. I, I have a space open for Shaman or that in case things go late in the game. He's going to end me. That's fine. Um, we still do have our GX move, so I can Hollow Hunt whenever I need to. And just grab three cards out. Probably, preferably, Olympia. Should I grab out Olympia? That's not a bad idea. 
He's gonna Moonlight Slash. He's just gonna do 80. Um, okay, let's get other pokes set up, too. I think I'm just gonna have to knock you out. Huh. It's gonna take him another turn in order to knock me out, so yeah, I'm just gonna keep Razor Leafing. Get rid of his Pokemon. I don't want him to be able to dance around with uh, Greninja Breaks, so if I'm able to just knock out two here, I also need to hit a freaking. I haven't hit a Decidueye. They, they can't all be prized or anything like that. There's three cards left. It would suck if the last three are Decidueyes. He's gonna bubble me. I'm sorry. <laughs> that sucks. Um, we're gonna get you set up. Is there a Decidueye in here? No, there's not. If I hollow hunt. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna feather arrow first. Just throw it on you, cause why not? He's gonna just get rid of it, but just in case he forgets, we're gonna hollow hunt GX here. Yes, I want to grab the Olympia in case he does Lysander up my uh, vile plume. Yeah, that's all I want done. That grass energy might be big to grab back, so I'm gonna do it just in case. He can't end me here. Like I said, he hasn't used a single one of his VS Seekers, so that's that's four cards in his hand, or four cards in his deck that he still has to... He's not hitting any of the bubbles. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't like winning like that. Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> or sorry, Susan. My bad. Alright, we got a Psychic Normal deck, which my guess means it's a Drampa Garboder. I was kind of hoping to run into a Volcanian, to be honest, because we went against two very favorable matchups there. Um, I'm easily- oh wow, that's not a very good start. Um, let's send out Oddish first. I don't think I'm going to use Tapu Lele here, but I want to try and get a- I could attach a Grass Energy to Oddish here, and I can be able to retreat him, no problem. I am going first, yeah, I am going first. Okay, but I want to try getting a Floatstone on him. I'm going to attach that to you, and let's Sycamore. You mainly want to go through as many item cards as you can the first opening turns, but right now I think we want to limit it. Um, hmm. I want to keep Olympia in play. I am going to discard you and you, I think. Yeah, because next turn I'll, I could grab another N. Mm, I'm going to grab Dark Tricks. Yeah. I think it was smarter for me to play the Grass Energy than the DCE because if he Lysanders and Righteous Edges my Dark Tricks, that's annoying. Um, if he did, that would just do 20 to it next turn. But let's just let's just finish here. We got the Dartrix set up. We'll be able to Sycamore next turn. We'll be able to attach a uh, Grass Energy. So if he does knock that away, I should be able to harm. I was gonna say Harmony Hollow, Hollow Hunt, <laughs> the DCE back out. And I, can, I actually should save the Hollow Hunt for later. He's gonna Lele here. Is he gonna grab the Lysander? Is he gonna do it? Are you eating your bed? Can you not eat your Lysander? Bridget. Okay, that's fine with me. Why you gotta eat your bed? Are you destroying a hole in it? You are. Don't don't destroy your bed. Stop it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's his bed. I guess he could do what he wants with it. He's taking the stuffing out of the bed. His little like mattress bed thing. He's probably gonna grab two. Yeah, two trubbish. Okay. The nice thing about this deck is I think I should honestly just beat Drampa. <laughs> If, okay, he's gonna big wheel GX here. Maybe I should end him. Mm, let's see what we draw into. Lysander doesn't help too much here. I'm gonna Sycamore. I'm gonna let him have those cards. I don't care. Mm, I wanted to focus on getting other stuff, but let's all let's do that. Grab Gloom. Evolve you. We're gonna get a floatstone on you. Trainer's mail, please give me an ultra ball. Thank you. That is exactly what I needed. Um, 
retreat you out. <sighs> um, we're gonna use that. We're gonna grab you. I only want to get rid of one dart trick. I don't want to see what I got there. I don't want to get rid of more. Now I have the choice of. I'm gonna shaman actually. Yeah, let's shaman. I had the choice of either getting a Decidueye or Vileplume, depending on what I feel is more important. Honestly, I think I need a Decidueye here. And I didn't hit it, because I'm that smart. Um, let's level ball. Grab Rowlet. Mm, I, see, these are the plays that I just don't know how to make, or how to choose on what I need to do. And I just totally misplayed that. Because he'll be able to knock me out next turn, and I'll have nothing set up. And that sucks. Link, can you stop? Link, okay, hold on. I need to go get this away from him. I'm gonna leaf blade. Hopefully we do 70. Okay, good. We did 70. Come here, buddy. I have to take that away from you now. You're taking out all the stuffing. Hey, stop it. Stop it. No plate. This is what he was eating. <laughs> his little mattress that we put in his bed. He, like, takes apart all of every single bit of stuffing that he can. That's a knockout. God dang it. That's why I felt like I had to get Decidueye out. And I just wasn't able to. Let's bring up Dartrix. Now I for sure need to get Decidueye out. Revitalizer. That works. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to grab you two. Yeah, because I'm going to Sycamore. Oh, no, I'm going to N. Let's grab Dartrix out. Because I have... Yeah, no, this is a smart play, I think. We're going to grab you. We're going to play... Vile plume, no more items. Do that. Now I need to hit Decidueye. The odds are decent, thank you. <laughs> the odds are decent that I at least get him. I wanted to get rid of his hand, it was too big. Um, put you down. Grab Rowlet. Feather arrow. You, because I don't want you berserking for 150. Although you're probably gonna, knowing my luck, probably gonna end up hitting a rainbow energy and placing that down on your Trubbish. Which would suck. But the other good news is he didn't get a float stone down on any of his trubbishes. So I'm not worried about Garboder freaking thing. The Garboder uh, Garbotoxin. And if he didn't hit a rainbow energy, he's not going to be able to. He's not going to be able to. <laughs> uh, this is a terrible situation. Have I gotten rid of Olympia? I have. What happened to the float stone? Did he feel blower wall was gone? He did feel blower wall was gone. You little devil. Because in my mind, I'm like, why doesn't Vileplume have that? And he must have, he, he did it Well, I was moving your bed, Link. Uh, the thing about Vileplume is if he gets caught up here, I can't use item cards unless he turns them off. And I don't think I have a hex. Irritating pollen, yeah. And he's also got three retreat costs, which sucks. And now that Drampa's up here, if I place down a DCE to do two of the three retreat costs, he could righteous edge it away. Oh, knock him out. I'm fine if you knock him out. Okay. Okay, that did more than I wanted it to. <laughs> but I'm kind of still okay with that. Yeah, I'm still really okay with that, actually. We're gonna grab you two. I don't have Forest of Giant Plants up. Okay. We ain't doing that good. Um. I, I, I need uh, Grass Energy. I need a Grass Energy. That's not a Grass Energy. That's a DCE. Um, I'm going to place it on you, I guess. Or do I place it on Shaman? I'm placing it on you. We're going to Feather Arrow this guy so next turn I'll be able to feather arrow him once and hopefully I should be hitting a grass energy and knocking him out with 90 but this gives him an opportunity to set up another Garbodor on the bench uh, I don't know if this is a good matchup for Decidueye I feel like I'm also misplaying it I feel like I am uh, that sucks I didn't want him to get that set up too um, so the Berserk is doing 150. That's not a knockout that's doing 180 now. Uh, okay. 
Thank you. Do that. <sighs> Hi, buddy. I know, I missed you too. Um, do I enter Sycamore here? I end, because I only have 11 cards. 15 total, but now I guess 14 because the end is gone. I was hoping to hit a Gloom at least, but I didn't hit that. Okay, so I can knock out you. I could knock you out next turn. I want to focus on that Trubbish on the bench. I should have actually attached the Grass Energy to this Decidueye and retreat him out. But I wasn't that smart. <laughs> I have to knock out this Trubbish now and hope that he can't do anything. Alright, we got one prize card. We got a Rowlet! Yay! Hopefully we could get another Decidueye set up. I think it's going to be too late by that point, though. Um, he can also use items, so he's, he has that open to him, too. I think this is his first turn without with being able to use items. So he should have a decent amount in his hand, although I did end him. So maybe he drew into a, a dud, or nothing. He drew into an Ultra Ball. Great. Fantastic. <laughs> nothing could be better. Nothing could be better than him turning off my abilities. Because <laughs> this deck heavily relies on abilities. What are you doing? I don't know. You guys can't see him. He's actually sitting behind me, like right back here, like in the empty spot in my chair. And he's licking my armchair. Okay, and now what's he going to do? Is he going to Sycamore? Is he going to Tapu Lele? He's going to VS Seeker. He's going to get rid of that VS Seeker and Sycamore. I wish you end instead. I hope to God that he does not hit a single... Don't hit a Float Stone. Is there any way I could one-shot him? No, there's not. And he's knocking me out. He doesn't even need the full Berserk to knock me out. And of course, yeah, I have a dead hand right now. I can Lysander something up, but that would just be stalling. I can stall a turn if I don't hit like a Tapu Lele. Oh, Tapu Lele's are both prized. A Sycamore and a, or an N. This is bad. I'm going to bring up Oddish because I have a Float Stone on him. There's no reason not to. We'll be able to place down a Rowlet, which will be alright, I guess. We got a Gloom. Yay. <sighs> What do I do here? I have to use Shaman. I'm going to call up the Drampa in the back. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to call up the Drampa in the back. Because he's got two retreat costs. I'm going to retreat out to Shaman. And Sky Return. So next turn we'll be able to... Uh, Shaman for looks like at least three. I wish I was able to get Vileplume out. The Relic's gonna go down. He only has two prize cards remaining, so I'd rather sacrifice the Relic than the Gloom, just in, on the off chance that I'm able to end him and also get his um, get my Vileplume set up so he can't use any VS Seekers anymore. I have no Vileplumes in there. There's two Vileplumes in my deck. Is there? Oh, I feel like how did I get the Vileplume out? I know he knocked out a Vileplume. Did I revitalize her or not? Yeah, I did revitalize her. That's it. And I didn't have Forest of Giant Plants up, so I revitalized the Gloom and the Vile Plume, and I wasn't able to get that out. He had the DCE. He's probably going to retreat out to Garbodor. Yeah, he's probably going to retreat out to Garbodor. Knock out my Rowlet. That was smart, actually. Yeah, that was the better play. Oh, oh. Abilities are off. It doesn't matter. I can't use Shaman. Oh, and even if I get Vileplume set up, it doesn't matter. Oh. Nothing's changed. Alright, guys, that's GG. <laughs> uh, we could do 30 more damage. We might as well go for it. Suck Sky Return. Yeah, that's GG. Concede. He knocks out any one of my Pokemon. I mean, the situation I would live a turn, but it's not going to happen. I, I'm, I'm not good with this deck. I this deck is not for me. It's never been for me. It just doesn't fit my play style. I wish it did. <laughs> I really wish it did. I had a field blower in here. I didn't think I had one. Huh. I, I think I went through all three games without seeing that once. Or else I'm going insane. One or the other. But anyways guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and get out of here. <gasps> you knuckleheads.